war. War never changes. Hey y'all, before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button for me. Get in on the conversation by commenting below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So the question is, is there evidence of Paladin Dance's life in either Fallout 3 or Fallout 4? And the answer is no. But wait, don't click off the video. Let me explain. First, let's go over a really brief history of Paladin Dance. He was born in the Capital Wasteland. He was an orphan who scavenged the waste until he had his own little junk vendor shop in Rivet City. There, he met a guy named Cutler. Not only did they become besties, but they went into business together and then subsequently joined the Brotherhood of Steel together. So, side note, Dance says that after about a year of being posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op, basically saying that Cutler and his team went missing. Playing the Broken Steel, DLC, we learned that the Pridwin came from Adam's Air Face, an Air Force base that was overran by the Enclave, but eventually taken over by the Lions Pride Brotherhood still. So because of this, I'm assuming that we're in the Capital Wasteland for this next part. Being that we know the Super Mutants in the Capital Wasteland actually predates the Master, and they were actually Vault 87 inhibitants who were forging forward with Vault Tech's plan to test the FEV on people, it's safe to assume that the Super Mutants saw potential in him, took Cutler back to Vault 87, dunked him in FEV, turning him into a mutant. Dance and his team finally found him, the new Super Mutant fight Cutler, and performed a mercy killing on him, making him not want to be close to anybody anymore, not until he makes the sole survivor in Fallout 4. This is important. It's important because it proves that Cutler is real, meaning that Dance's business in Rivet City that Cutler was a joint venture in was real. So if Dance existed in Rivet City, obviously that means the only part of his memory that could be implanted is his childhood. But what is he doing in DC in the first place? Is it possible that he came to the Capital Wasteland as a synth on a mission to capture Harkness? I mean, Harkness himself is a courser who was used for synth retention until he became sentient and wanted his own free will. In this holotape, we learned that before he ran away from the Commonwealth all the way to DC, he managed to plant these little seeds of free will into other synths. Could Dance be a courser himself on retention duty, but was intercepted first by the railroad. We learned that Dr. Zimmer is in the Capital Wasteland in the year 2277 looking for his runaway synth, who had his memory erased and replaced. After question and a half of DC, you catch up with a lady named Victoria Watts. Well, more likely she catches up with you. She lets you know that she's a part of the railroad, an organization that's dedicated to aiding the liberation of synth kind. Now, this is important because now we have mention of the railroad in DC. But who would have helped him with his memory wipe? Well, after questioning further half of DC, we learned that there's only one person with the technological know-how who would be able to do it. And this one person is none other than Horace Pinkerton. He is an electrician, a scientist, a surgeon, essentially making him the only person in DC who actually can perform such a procedure. And also he doesn't miss a chance to you know, give himself a compliment. I mean, he points out his brains, his valor, his ingenuity. So it's important to know that because we're entering into why I say that there's not really any evidence to support Paladin Dance ever being in Fallout 3. When we go to Pinkerton's terminal, we learn that A321 had a mind wipe done by Pinkerton, who felt like a god. Placing memories and reconstructing his face, this is obviously a first for him, and he was very pleased with the success for it. He was boastful, in fact. As his records are meticulous, he even kept exchanges from when he was on the city council all the way to logging his arrival to the Broken Bow of the Ship. So, no, he more than likely didn't do the procedure. That's inconclusive because that's not really real evidence to support that he did or didn't. But being that he doesn't miss a chance to compliment himself, he doesn't give himself any accolades for performing such a procedure again. And there's no records of dance in Pinkerton's terminal. And this guy, like I said, is very meticulous. 
There isn't much mentioning of dances pre-Paladin days in the records of the Pridwin either. But there is much evidence to suggest that dance served under Elder Owen Lyons, then Sarah Lyons, a few other elders until a young 16, now 20 year old Maxon rose to power and dance served under him, rising in the ranks himself. Dance cries out, remember the Citadel in battle. Dance himself even talks about the Air Force Base, the Adams Air Force Base. Also, being that it's 2277 in Fallout 3, when we go to Rivet City, Dance is not there. So more than likely, he had to have joined the Brotherhood of Steel by now. It only makes sense. Dance talks poorly of the elders he served under, but Maxon is only 10 years old in Fallout 3. When we go as the sole survivor to meet him, he's now 20. Dance had to have been in the Brotherhood of Steel since Maxon was a child. But what can we conclude from all this? Well, we know that the career in the Brotherhood of Steel is valid for Paladin Dance, but it's not like there was a Paladin Dance who was kidnapped and then replaced with a synth Paladin Dance. I mean, that would make no sense because when you tell Paladin Dance he's a synth, he would not act so surprised. After looking at all the details, it's, it's every possibility I've concluded that the missing link is Bethesda, who dropped the ball on an amazing foolproof character plot. I mean, they made him this awesome character. Of course, it was an internal dilemma whether to exterminate him or convince Maxon to spare him. I mean, it's Dance. Of course, we'd like to know more, but I've researched this character as much as any field scribe could do. And there's really nothing. I mean, maybe if they was to remake Fallout 3, they could find a way to retro him in, but I doubt it. Oh, you guys, there it is. There it ain't, there is none. There's no evidence of Paladin Dance in Fallout 3 or any of his pre-war life in Fallout 4. Only what he references. All right, you guys, that's the video. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I hope you stay tuned for more content and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Death is a preferable alternative to communism.